Now we are showing the architecture of IoT. Here we can show you one is hardware architecture or hardware part and another one is software application part. Okay, in the hardware application part, in the bottom level, we, sh we, we actually will have some sensor network or sensors in, in very plain we can say. First, we will sense by using some sensors. What is an IoT device? IoT device it the is the device that will send something, will send the data to my server, my server will process and I will be able to see or I will get the service through my app. The same thing is happening here. On the bottom layer, we are, how to say, getting the information from the environment or surroundings by using some sensors. So first, we should have a sensor network and then some communication medium. Okay, communication medium means like what is showing here, like after sensing, it's using a, a sensor node or you can say a static sync node where the data is coming from sensors, not one sensors, a few sensors or from a number of sensors, it's coming to a sync node. So after getting the information in the sync node, it will send the information to the server by using some network or communication medium like it can be 3G, it can be uh, uh, optical fiber, it can be how to say satellite communication, it can be uh, GSM, whatever it is by using a network infrastructure or communication infrastructure, it will send the data to my server and it's saying on that level. In server, all the data will gather in the different way of server. Okay, so this is the, how, do, how we can say, this is the uh, cloud server. Okay, so in cloud, our data will come and after processing here, whatever I want to see will, will be visible by using some app, software app. Or software application. Okay, so that that are the some uh, how to say layers. So one is sensor network layer, another one is uh, sync node, another one is communication pathway, another one is server, then the app. Okay, for our service. So that is the architecture or layered architecture of IoT. Now. This is also a kind of uh, uh, a different way to saying the uh, sensor network or architecture. Okay, so you can see on the right side in layer one, it's actually the sensors. Okay, low end sensors nodes. Okay, which is actually just sensing the temperature, humidity, okay, gas leakage, air, amount of light, amount of money, amount of ink inside the paint. Okay, or the gyroscope, the way I am using the pane, okay, the slide I'm using, this will use somehow, it will use the sensor for gathering the data. And then it's saying high end sensor node where some sensors will be integrated together. And then the sync node or a static sync node. That means we might have a small device inside my home where all the uh, sensors data will gather and then from that small device, it will go to my server or the server, server provided by the uh, uh, service provider. Okay, so a static node, a st a static sync node, then low end computational device. Maybe for some cases, we don't need to send the data to my server. It will take the decision instantly. Like, there is no people inside this room. Turn off the light, turn off the fan, can happen. So we don't need to send this data to internet. So it will take some decision by using its local computing device. And then high-end computi com computational device, like if we, if we have complex devices, like if we use some service robots, if we use image processing based door unlock system, if we use some other complex uh, systems like automatic systems then we might need we might 
maybe low end computing device is not enough for that. In that circumstance, we, ne we need to go for high end computational device. As I told you uh, in our first lecture, like we have low end computing device and then the high end computing device. Low end computing device is mainly will be used for sensing data and taking the decision. But high end computing will require for taking the complex decision. Okay, so if it's required, maybe we will use layer 6. Like if we need to send this data to my server, we will use layer 6. Okay, but the issue is it's not required that we should have all the six layers. No, we might don't require layer 6. We might don't require layer 2. We might don't require layer 4. Okay, so it can have like layer 1, 2, 3, 2, 5. That's all. Just three layer is okay for it, but this is the maximum layers, six layers, six layer architecture. Okay, so that is the thing. Now you can understand what is a sensor network. Sensor network generally exists without IoT, but IoT cannot exist without sensor. You can understand. Okay, so if we have a rule based system, or like as I told you, for light fan turn on and off, okay, we don't need any IoT device, it just can sense and act. But IoT device cannot work without having the sensor network. That is the point. Sensors network have been designed, developed and used for a specific application purpose. Different application, in different application, different type of sensor network need to be used. Once again, for uh, university, maybe we need different type of sensor network. For automobile industry, we might require different type of sensor network. For maybe garments industry, we might need different type of sensor network. For home appliances, maybe we need different type of sensor network. So depend on the uh, depend on the thing. Now environmental monitoring, agricultural, medical care, event detection, etc. are the applications of sensor network. And then for IoT purpose, sensor network need to have software addressing these issues. What are the issues? Abstraction support, data fusion source constraints, dynamic topology, application knowledge, programming paradigm, adaptability, scalability, security, quality of service support. Okay, So most of the things I already discussed previously, but you can see abstraction support means we should have the ability of having the this kind of things like if we buy one IoT device, someone or some company should give me the service to use that thing. Then the data fusion, like we have separate data, but we should have a fusion, like uh, we, we might require like, like, you know, the weather for forecasting the weather, only temperature doesn't play the main role. Maybe temperature is playing the big role, but the humidity, the air pressure is another, but sun or sunlight, or the length of the day, these are the important issue or the month, which month we are in, these are the issues need to be fusion together. Okay, so data fusion, resource constraints, like I should have that kind of resource that can accept the IoT device or IoT features, dynamic topology, as I told you, if, we, if the environment change or if I go from one place to another place, maybe topology will change. When I'm in my home, my IoT device will use one different type of topology. When I'm in my car, my IoT devices inside my body or inside my pocket will do in different topology. When I'll arrive in my office, maybe it will use different topology, okay? So the same way, application knowledge, programming paradigm, what kind of programming I'm going to use for it, AI or non-AI or how to say machine learning or uh, deep, uh, deep learning, whatever, what kind of things I'm going to use. Adaptability. Adaptability means whether it is uh, adaptable in different type of environment, like uh, whether it is adaptable in this room, whether it is adaptable in my other room, whether it is adaptable in Dhaka, whether it is adaptable in Kumilla, whether it is adaptable in, uh, in forest. Okay, so adaptability. Then scalability. As I told you on previous uh, slide, okay, it should be scalable. Like if 
it expand like a, a number of people if maybe internet was first uh, uh, like uh, optical fiber connectivity or broadband connection was only in Dhaka city. But nowadays you can find optical connectivity or uh, broadband connectivity in everywhere in the in, in, in at least the district city okay in Bangladesh now okay so maybe at the beginning the IoT devices was supported only in Dhaka city but after that it need to have the scalability so that we can use in everywhere in Bangladesh okay then the security very very important issue my data should be secure I can compromise with it I, 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 I will never use such a device by using some other people can observe me. No, I don't want to use that kind of device. Okay, I want such a device which is secure. Okay, no one can, how to say, uh, hack my system. I want that kind of system. So security and then quality of service. Like when someone is giving us the service, it should have that quality. Like my, my microwave, the IoT feature of my microwave is not working. Then if I ask them, they should come and fix it, fix the problem. So, there are the software services need to be addressed, okay? 